Hey guys, Richard here with Downgrid Survival. This is video number three for today. Uh, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, depending on the, the time that I have available to uh, produce some videos, sometimes, you know, I, I might drop two or three in the same day and then we go for several days without anything. Uh, but you know, I could hold on to my videos and then, uh, you know, just schedule them for a couple days out. But I figure, why do that, right? Uh, get the information out as soon as I can. So when I produce a video, I try to get it out there rather quickly. So today's video is just a little bit different, and I hope you play along. So let's let's consider for a second uh, the threats that we face. Uh, imagine, you know, when it all goes down, that uh, you know we're, we're going to be faced with with multiple threats. You know, uh, the threat of hunger, the threat of uh, going thirsty, um, you know, just dying. And, and the threat of people con trying to come and take what we have. Um, you know, there's lots of names for this. Uh, you know, people put labels on them like marauders. Uh, recently I saw a new term that I hadn't been familiar with, which was uh, a wolf prepper, I think is what it was called, where uh, preppers that their whole mentality and idea when it all goes down is they're going to go and take somebody else's stuff because they're a piece of garbage and they don't want to uh, put forth the effort to prep now and take care of their own uh, self and family and so we know these kind of threats are going to be out there okay how you deal with them is going to be up to you because when it all goes down we're not going to have emergency services available to us to come and save the day uh, you know you'd be naive to think that they are it's going to be up to you to defend yourself your family and what you have so that you can survive another day. So what do you do when these threats come knocking? Well, that's gonna be entirely up to you how you handle the situation. But I've got two products, two items, I'm gonna call them mystery items because I'm not gonna tell you what they are, but I've got two items that could help you deal with these types of threats. Now, chances are you're only gonna use one or yeah, yeah. You're only going to use one of the two items. Um, it's your choice, really, which one you decide to use. I would encourage you to have both of them available, both of them on hand, okay? Because you never know the outcome of any situation, and you're not going to know which one you might need, right? Uh, yeah, that's, that's probably all I'm going to say about that. So check out the two links that I have below. It's going to be titled uh, Mystery... Item number one, mystery item number two, something like that. And then leave comments down below. Tell me what you think. All right. Hey, um, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. And if you're new here, like, comment, subscribe. No, no. If you are watching this video, like, comment, and subscribe. If you're new here, subscribe. No. I'm getting this all messed up. So if you're watching this video, like and comment. And if you're new here, you can also subscribe. Yeah, we'll just say it that way. Either way, have a good day. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.